Hey guys, look folk here and welcome to another FIFA 21 SBC video. It is Thursday at 6 p.m. and hopefully this will be the eve of Team of the Year. I'm hoping that the proper Team of the Year does get released tomorrow and it's not just some like nominee cards or whatever. We'll back out and have a look at the promo screen uh, in a few minutes once we cover the new legal on SBC Player of the Month, Yazisi. Is that I probably pronounced that name terribly wrong, but um, he actually has some amazing stats. We'll have a look at his uh, requirements and uh, his in game stats in a sec. We also have Marquee Mattress, which gives you a mega pack, which isn't too bad for Team of the Year when it does uh, eventually come. And then also an 84 rated plus rare player pick pack. I'm not, I don't think I'll do this with the fact that, especially if Team of the Year, uh, team of the year does start tomorrow, I won't do this and I'll just save it for Team of the Year. Uh, and of course, you have a few, you have, you have a week to do that. So I think it makes sense to open this once team of the year is out and you have the chance to get an 84 rated overall higher um and there'll be four choices of that so i would recommend you guys saving that for when team of the year does come out i think it's a no-brainer in my opinion but um anyway let's have a look at this new player of the month card from legal we'll have a look at his in-game stats in a second of course from lil who are having a pretty solid legal campaign i believe so it's going to be an 82 rated score with very high chemistry in a team of the week not a great pack in return. Uh, both poor packs in return, to be quite honest. Um, and, and this one requires an 83 rated squad with 70 chemistry and one league on. So it's, it, it's an 82 and 83 rated squad with uh, one team of the week. That's fantastic. I, I I honestly think it is. Now, aside from his pace, which doesn't look too good, 88 shooting, 89 passing, really good physicality, 89 dribbling as well. For an 87 rated card, that's going to be very easy to be able to craft just through uh, once you get upgrade packs for the team of the year as well. Remember, this card's going to be there for the next 30 days. You don't have to rush and do this right now. You can maybe wait until those upgrade packs come back. And you'll be able to do this for very, very cheap indeed. So uh, I'm already liking this SPC. I've got to be quite honest. I'll probably be already doing him. Not necessarily tonight or whatever. But once Team of the Year is around, I'll definitely like, craft my way to be able to get him for free. Now, having said that, medium, medium work rates aren't great. Four star, four star is good. Um, so yeah, he does let himself down a little bit there in the work rates. But, but his skill moves and weak foot combination is very nice. We can't fault that at all. Um, yeah, his acceleration is awful. So you need to fix that. His sprint speed actually isn't too bad. You can work with 85 sprint speed, but but you're gonna need that acceleration higher, at least in my opinion. I mean, you know, as you got he's six foot one, he could work well as a target man type of striker, to be fair. 96 shot power and 91 long shots. It's fine that his finishing is only 84. If you want to increase that, I completely understand, but it's the 96 shot power and the 91 long shots that you want to pay attention to. That's with four star skill moves. Um, well, that with four star weak four is going to be fantastic in game. His passing is great as well. Like, really, I mean, 91 short passing and 89 vision is absolutely superb. His dribbling, aside from balance. I mean, his reactions are once. I mean, his, his ball control, in-game dribbling, and composure are all very good. Agility is not too bad for a six foot one. His balance, you would want to maybe be a little bit higher. He's not going to feel maybe the smoothest of players, but he shouldn't feel too clunky on the ball. 80 reactions as well. Not the end of the world. His physicality stats are very nice. And he's got two perfect traits for a striker in finesse shot and outside foot shot. Honestly, for what that requires. He's worth it. Yes, of course, he's got a few areas that might need a little bit of work on. For example, you know, his work rates aren't ideal. You can't do anything to prove that uh, to improve that, unfortunately. And then when you look at his in-game stats, uh, all you'd really want to increase would be his acceleration and really his balance. I don't know what cam style would do that. Um, but there will be a camera style somewhere that will be able to increase those two specific stats. Um, if you're able to do that, then this is going to be a fantastic card, especially with those player traits as well. You know, four star, four star, he's worth it, 100% worth it. And, um, you know, you can link him to the road to the final, Renato Sanchez, just to plenty of other League on teams as well. Of course, we had that Kazawa SPC from League on. You can't really link uh, a left back to a to a striker necessarily, but um, I mean, if you're just running a league on team in general, uh, that's going to be very nice. I mean, I already have, in terms of like uh, league on cards that we've had recently, I already got the other league on striker player of the month a few months ago now, I believe it was. Was it Nian or something like that? The 84 rated cards? Yeah, Nian. Now, of course, you don't get like a weak link between the two of them, but you might have Mbappe. There's that Moise Keen card there as well. Um, on the whole, being, being from Turkey, maybe a Turkish, and obviously that's fantastic for you guys as well, you know, to fit into a Turkish, uh, like, nation team. But when we look in terms of league on strikers, of course, Mbappe is the best, and then Ben Yedder is the second best. And then, 
that for the third best striker, I've reviewed that Akadi card, but he he probably won't even be that good now at this stage of the game. The Informed Voland I used was surprisingly very, very good. But I reckon this uh, this Yazzi card might actually play even better than Informed Voland in game. I think he's got a lot of good stats. And with the right chem style, there's no reason why this card shouldn't be good in game. I just don't I don't typically use players. I don't think any of these are medium medium, are they? Yeah, high or low, which is perfect. Okay, well, medium medium, and I'll tell you right I'll tell you right now, I use Butchugueno a lot. And that's his record with a medium, medium work rate. So actually, maybe having that with Yazzi actually shouldn't be that much of a problem because Butchugueña, that's what he has done in all online matches, both in Division Rivals and Foot Champs. And that return is insane. And that is with the medium, medium work rate. So actually, the work rate might not even be that much of an issue at all. On the whole, it, it's a great SBC. We'll have a look at the objectives now and then we'll finish off with the promo screen and see if EA have linked anything. I really hope it's not the nominees tomorrow or any kind of... I don't even want any under free future star type of content that EA... Uh, and there's been like a few things kind of like, um, you know, posted around on Twitter saying that we might get like an under 20 freeze type of team or something like that maybe beforehand. I don't want that. Just give us the full team of the year. That's what I want and I think that's what most of you guys want. If you want to give us future stars, give us that two or three, uh, two or three weeks down the line. Don't give it to us now. Don't incorporate the two promos together. You know, please don't do that. I'd be gutted if they did that. Um, so nothing for, for daily objectives. Anything for milestones. They're leaving this empty again, aren't they? I really hope they kind of revive that for, for Team of the Year because they, they look like they were going to really uh, be putting out lots of content for the milestone to the start of the year, and it's just dried up recently, certainly in terms of like the... Um, the uh, like, like the league cards that you can get. But uh, what kind of promo screen have we got? I think we're getting the full Team of the Year. That can't be nominee cards, so I'm really, really glad about that. So we're definitely getting the full Team of the Year tomorrow, so expect lots of content for that. Um, but there was no new Icon SPCs today. I'll, I'll have a quick look and see if there's any Icon SPCs we finish, uh, before we finish off the video. I am very excited for this Team of the Year. Um, and I'll do a video tomorrow explaining what my whole plan is. Basically, if you guys want to know what Team of the Year card I'm going for, it is Lewandowski. That's the, that's the Team of the Year card that I want the most, but I'll do a whole video tomorrow and over the weekend of, of what my actual plan is. Um, in, in, in regards of what I want to do for Team of the Year and what my kind of plan is and stuff like that. But we haven't been given any Icon SBCs. I'm fine with that. Um, you know, with Team of the Year coming up tomorrow, I, I'm fine with them not really giving us any Icon SBCs. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. That SBC, I will be doing him. I just won't be doing him now. It makes sense just to wait until I've opened my Team of the Year packs and stuff like that and then go ahead and do the SBC. So on the whole, is he worth doing? Yes, he is. I think he's very, very good vibe for money, the league on player of the month. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you guys later.